the chief operating officer of Tarpinger AG, based out of Salzburg, our headquarters, Mr. Amin Shlam, who is head of marketing and communication for the Balfinger Group. I head the business for Balfinger in the region APAC, of which India is a part of. Uh, so that's the panel for you today. Let me just start with, with welcoming you and saying saying a couple of words. So we're, we're very pleased actually to have you here and to, to see your interest in Palfinger and what we are going to do in India. For us, it's very important to be here at the XCON trade show. It's not the first time, but I, I can add it's for us the biggest booth and the biggest presence that we ever had in XCON. So it's a very special, special year for us to be here. Um, and there's a good reason for this, because we uh, have a, a plan to expand in India. We are convinced that India is a impressive country. Uh, every time I come here, I'm impressed by, by seeing the energy, by seeing the rapid development that is taking place, the willingness to proceed to bring the country to the next level, the innovation power that you're having, that's really very impressive. And that's uh, a reason why we think, with all the need of developing infrastructure, the investment in urban development that you want to do, logistics, waste treatment, and so on. There is a lot of need for our products on, that we can offer from Palfinger side. And we want to support the development and the growth in India with our products, with our expertise. And that's why we made it an essential part of our new strategy, actually, to grow in Asia, but especially also to grow in India. And we are very happy to do so. We are very pleased to to, to make a statement with this presence here in XCON, but also uh, with the development that we plan to do. And just yesterday, Andreas Hille, who is responsible for R&D in our company and myself, we opened officially the Global Development Center in, a, in Pune, together with our partner LTTS, which is an important step for us. Uh, we already announced, and I'm happy to repeat this once again, that we will invest into our own production location, which also will be located in the area of Pune. We're just about to close the last steps of land acquisition, and we're happy to work hard with the whole project team to complete factory, complete the factory by, by the year 27, and then start in the second half of 27 with local production. And of course, at the same time, we are expanding our sales and service network. So one of the targets that we're having here in XCON is look for new partners, which help us to expand our sales and service network across the whole country. And yeah, so you see that we have a lot of initiatives to strengthen our presence in India, to support India in its growth ambition. And I'm very happy to do so. We have a very clear target segment where we want to sell these machines because we've been very successful over the last 10 years. So we know exactly what is to be done. All that we're trying to do is to leverage the competencies that this country offers in terms of optimal pricing. And this is a benefit that we would like to show it to our customers and to make the customer experience. So technology is always there. It's just the economy sometimes which is a problem. That is something that we will address with this. So we have uh, very clear specific segments which is unique for our class of machines. That's all point. You mentioned about the optical pricing, the economical cost of the volatile, yes. and then you need to import certain things also. Uh, there are some exchange issues, etc. How do you really manage to get to the area? The studies are going on right now. As I told you, he just said that we have a design partner now as well. Yeah, we have a design partner as well. So we are doing the study very well. As we're talking, the presence of our colleagues from Austria also shows that this is something that we are doing very clearly. This study is going on. Very, very encouraging results. Yes, everything might not happen 100% from the day one, but we will be there. And, and this is also one of the big benefits of India. There is a strong supply industry already in place. Uh, so we, we are currently in the process of adapting our products to the Indian market so that they are tailor-made to the needs of our customers. And in parallel to this, we are localizing our supply chain. So we're looking not only for partners on the sales side to, to expand our sales channel, but at the same time, we're looking for partners on the fabrication side. Uh, we already had a lot of supplier visits or potential supplier visits, and we are very optimistic that we can do a big part of what we need for our production in India, actually. We're looking at uh, uh, your partner in China, Sani. You have a, a partnership with China, a uh, partnership with uh, Sani in China. 
you also look at uh, Sandy's capabilities here to leverage uh, so that no, you can be in cross competition. We have a joint venture with Sani in China, which is operating for China and for some some export markets. But it's, that concerns a different product than what we are selling here in India. So, so. so what we have in China is purely for China. There is no relation here at all. Of course, in China there is a relationship for a different reason. We want to come there, but here this is Palfinger branded products, 100% subsidy of Palfinger. That's very important. I asked because they have been here for more than 10 years, no? 20 years. It's the same ecosystem, so. Yeah. And is evolving. And how is it influencing uh, What are the steps that you are taking to get into this? Or yeah. Uh, so we we are market and technology leader actually in the segments we are operating in, and electrification is one of the big trends that we are seeing. So we have on the global scale we have a big portfolio available. Um, using our lifting equipments either with an additional kind of battery pack with a mobile power unit which is on top of a traditional combustion engine in the truck so that you can use our device without having the engine of the truck running and burning burning some, some fuel basically. So just running, being able to run purely electrical. And we have this system available for platforms, for loader cranes, for all, all kinds of different different devices and at the same time as elect electric vehicles are advancing quickly also in commercial in the commercial field um, we are we were the first ones to show in, in last year actually that our device is connected directly to the high voltage battery of the truck so that we can just spare basically an additional bar um, battery which takes extra payload basically uh, so we have solutions in this field be it directly connected to electronic vehicles, and we also have this battery packs basic, basically which work with conventional drive trains. And in what is the time frame to bringing this to India, this will depend a little bit on the customer needs. What we are ready. Uh, what are the couple of questions? Uh, one on sales and then one on marketing. So uh, the title lending norms, higher interest rates, and uh, in obvious NBFCs, stay away from, uh, uh, from funding. So this is my observation, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Uh, so how are you going to change this scenario? And the second question is, uh, what are the marketing initiatives that you have planned to enhance the visibility of uh, your footprint? Uh, sure. Marketing, no I, I will hand it over to my colleague who is head of marketing. But the first part of the question on the NBFCs, yes, very important partnerships. Uh, you must be knowing that our customers' segments are pretty different. Garment companies, large corporates, small contractors, mining companies, so depending on that. But when it comes to small contractors, NBFCs play a very, very important role. Fortunately, we have a good relationship with many of them. What are the prevailing norms for any equipment also is applied to us. There's nothing specific. In fact, the advantage that we have is now that we're going to invest in the country, I think the risk appetite for those companies to look at our machines is much more better. That's an advantage to us. Best, I think, we're in the ecosystem. We have different partners and uh, we are very well accepted in the market. Training. Just training. one question. Yes, uh, very good. Thank you, Alexander. Also, you're right, you know, because it's also important for the finance companies to understand how these machines are going to be uh, handled. It's not very common. It's not like the other machines. So here we see the Infrastructure Equipment Skill Council. This is something that we consciously decided to participate in. As world leaders, we wanted to be the pioneers in training people around the country on machines. These are machines which is absolutely you have to operate it in the most safest manner, whether it is lifting equipment or lifting people. Uh, this is what we see here is a 24 meter platform. We have machines can go up to all 100 meters. So it's very, very important to be safe. And that is the ecosystem chain that we're going to get. And this is a step in the right direction. We were surprised that we had fantastic inquiries already that people want to be trained by us. That is something which will go a long way again to make it more attractive for people to find. Marketing, marketing. Marketing. Maybe just some comments on the marketing. Yeah, here we want to establish our network. We are establishing a new marketing team here in India so that we have a local team. And from there, we are building up the marketing infrastructure with uh, agencies so that we can produce locally um, here the, the advertising and building up the network to the present the media network, which we are now want to strengthen, which we are right now at the starting point.